Configuring Cisco's AP group involves four very important steps. The first step is configuring the dynamic interfaces on the controller. Again, this is where the wired lives. The second step is configuring the WLAN interface. This is where your wireless SSID lives. Third, you want to create the AP groups and then map those AP groups to the wired interfaces. And lastly, you then want to assign the AP group to an access point. Our first step is to configure the dynamic interfaces on the controller. Again, this is where the wireless meets the wired. This is going to be your wired interface on the wireless LAN controller. So any traffic that's coming across via wireless will be mapped to these particular interfaces. In this particular configuration, we're going to be configuring two dynamic interfaces. One that will map to VLAN 100, giving us that logical broadcast domain for VLAN 100, and the same for 200. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our dynamic interfaces. We're going to click on the controller tab. The controller tab uh, is really where most of your wired activity lives. So uh, keep that in mind when you're trying to troubleshoot. Under the controller tab, we have a sub-menu of interfaces. You're going to notice that under the sub-interface of interfaces, we already have three static interfaces already configured. That's our AP Group Manager, our Management, and Virtual. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add two dynamic interfaces. Now remember, these dynamic interfaces is the uh, separation of our logical broadcast domain. So when the traffic comes in, these are the interfaces on the wireless LAN control that will be mapped to. The first one we're going to call AP Group 1 VLAN 100, and we're going to map that to VLAN 100. This particular interface will have a 10 100 100.2. We're going to be using a class B. And our gateway is 10 100 100.1. And our DHCP is 10 10 0 18. We're going to go ahead and we're going to apply that. We're going to go ahead and create a second dynamic interface. And you're going to notice that I've already done this before, so that's why you're seeing this here. We're going to call it VLAN 200. And we're going to call this tag that traffic to 200. And this interface lives on 10, 200, 200.2. Again, class B. Gateway is a dot one. We're going to be using the same DHCP server. We're going to go ahead and we're going to apply that. Uh, that's it. That We've just created the two dynamic interfaces. Uh, you're going to notice right here they do say dynamic. Um, also, if we made a mistake, we can simply blow that interface away by just hovering over the blue box and clicking remove. Our second step is to configure the WLAN interface, in this case the SSID called AP Group Lab on the wireless LAN controller. To create the WLAN interface, you want to click on the WLANs tab. You're going to notice that we don't have any WLANs currently uh, configured. We're going to click on New. We're going to call this AP Group Lab, and our SSID is also going to be called AP Group Lab. And we apply that. Now this is a very uh, uh, straightforward and general screen. One, we want to enable the SSID. That means essentially turning it on. We're also going to be mapping this particular one to AP Group 1 VLAN 100. Now you might be wondering why would I want to uh, map that to VLAN 100. Uh, this is essentially uh, where the interface is going to live. However, once you have it fully configured, you can then apply the broadcast domains, if you will, the AP group to individual access points. We're going to go over to security. We're going to actually turn off all the security for the sake of this tutorial. And we're just going to go through and make sure everything else looks good, which it does. And we're going to go ahead and apply. You will notice that our group, uh, profile name, AP Group Lab, is here. Our SSID is AP Group Lab in capital letters. It is enabled. And again, if we made a mistake, we can simply go in, hover over the blue box, and remove. Our third step is to configure the AP groups themselves, as well as the mapping of the interfaces. We're going to go ahead, create the groups, and map them to AP Group 1, which is VLAN 100 for the students, and AP Group 2, VLAN 200 for the staff. 
So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create the AP groups and we're going to map them to interfaces. The AP groups live under the WLAN tab. Click on Advanced and then AP Groups VLAN. This is under AP Group Name. This is where we would actually go in and create the AP Group Name. Now you're going to notice I've already done this lab. So you'll see that I already have that already filled in. And that's going to be AP Group 1 Students VLAN 100. And we're going to use that same uh, description. And then click Create AP Group. You're going to notice that it actually fills in the AP Group name here. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to create AP Group 2 staff VLAN 200. And we're going to use that under the same description. And we go ahead and click create that. Now, if you did make a mistake, again, hover over the blue box and you could do a remove. There is another feature that you need to be aware of, which is this AP Groups VLAN featured enabled. You have to checkbox this. Um, if you don't, essentially the VLAN uh, AP grouping will not be uh, engaged. So we're going to go ahead and apply that. Now, we're not done we actually have to click on the AP group name again, and this is where we're going to map our interfaces. So since we already have these named, it's rather easy for us to go ahead and map them as appropriately. We only have that one SSID, which is AP group lab, and the interface name that this is going to be mapped to is, you got it, VLAN 100. So we're going to go ahead and map that. We apply it, and then we're going to go back, and we're going to hit VLAN 200. Now VLAN 200, we want to have map to our wired side AP Group 2 VLAN 200. So we're going to go ahead and click that and apply. That right there completes our AP Group uh, configuration. So we're almost done. Our last and final step is to actually map the access points to the AP Group themselves. Now, you might remember our earlier slide when we had our, students bu our student building on the left and our staff building on the right. So essentially, for the tutorial's sake, I have two access points that I've already pre-named. I've pre-named them to staff and students. So you can see how we will go in and we'll do our configuration for the appropriate AP and naming that appropriately. Our first step for configuring the mapping of the access point is by clicking on the wireless tab. The wireless tab, if you didn't know it already, is where the majority of your wireless functionality lives. Now you're going to notice I've already taken the liberty of pre-naming our two access points. Our first access point is AP Group 1 Students VLAN 100. Now if you think for a moment our student lab or our student building that we're going to have more than one access point. So obviously you'd have to do this multiple times. Now to configure the mapping we would click on the advanced tab and you're going to notice here AP Group Name. If we do the drop down these two interfaces are the dynamic interfaces that we created under the controller interfaces. This particular AP, when he associates to our uh, AP Group Lab SSID, you can now tell him to map to either one of these. Now remember, when you map him to this, if he's new and he connects, he will get a DHCP scope from either one of those. In this case, this is the students, and we want to map the students traffic to VLAN 100. So we're going to go ahead and click that and apply. We're going to go ahead and do the second one, Advanced tab. This is our staff AP. So our staff AP we want to have associate and uh, to the AP Group Lab SSID, but we want that traffic to specifically be on the VLAN 200 domain. So we click that and apply. So let's give this a test spin. We're going to be taking our Cisco CB21 ABG client and connecting it to the access point that is mapped to AP Group 1 students. Now we've gone in and we've actually enabled the students access point. You're going to notice this by the enabled here. And we're going to go in and click on our Cisco CB21 scan. And we should see our AP Group there it is. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on that. And that which should refresh us. And give it a second to clear out. It should give us a 10 100 100 address. And which it did. 10 100 100 111. 